Okay, so I got I just got this in the mail. It's an AC delete pulley, so that just goes right there in place of the AC compressor. And I've been getting a lot of comments saying, "Don't get rid of AC. It's a dumb idea. You should be concerned about your passengers." You can... But you see, the thing is, this AC compressor got ruined in the rollover. That's five hundred dollars. The AC condenser got ruined in the rollover. That's three hundred dollars. That's I don't have that much money. This is twenty bucks. And having the battery near the gas tank is more of a safety hazard than it being hot inside. Because you know we don't want to drive around a bomb. So I feel a lot safer having the battery in the engine bay. And there's nowhere else to put it except for right there. And in the future, I am thinking about putting like a vintage air system in here. Uh, so it, it, you know, it comes with a compressor, condenser, all that stuff. And it's just a little thing that you bolt underneath the dash and it has AC. And I can get a little heater as well, kind of the same thing. You run your coolant hoses to it, it's got its own fan and everything so for heat. So I can put heat and AC back into it without this stuff. It's just, I feel a lot safer having the battery here. And also I want to build a tube dash for it. And it's a rock crawler. It's not a family grocery getter. It's... And the only passenger really in there is me. And I was already okay with him getting rid of that stuff. Yeah, and 90% so... of the time when we're wheeling this, the AC's off. Yes because it does take power from the engine and where I don't have very much power I need everything I can get so I always have the AC turned off windows are always rolled down anyways so and we barely use the heat in it because we don't take it too much out in the winter yeah I, I hate so, snow I hate snow like but I was okay with it being removed and I'm usually the only one in there anyway and so also, they do sell snow clothes at the store. So just put on some snow pants and a coat. Like, and there his, you go. So his Jeep didn't have AC and we made it pretty It didn't good. have heat or AC. And we did pretty all right in that. Jaden's buggy doesn't have heat or AC. My brother's buggy doesn't have heat or AC. 90% of rock crawlers do not have heat and AC. Like hardcore rock crawlers. Like Jeep rock crawlers that are it's a rock crawler. They have bigger tires and lockers and stuff. Those do great, but you're not gonna take that up what I take this up. So this is a purpose-built vehicle. So I'm I'm not too worried about it. And so. most of the windows are gone anyway. So yeah. we'll be fine right now. So it's just gonna have a windshield, no other windows. So you're gonna get plenty of airflow and it has a roof so you're going to be shaded so and i always thought about if all spells get like one of those little fans and filled with like water or ice yeah like so. if we really need something we can put something in there but i don't think it's a big deal so. <laughs> especially where it's more money to fix the ac anyway yeah i just i gotta save money everywhere i can on this thing and i kept it for a long time because it worked but it's just a lot of stuff needs to get replaced in order to keep it so getting rid of it so I'll have a little bit more power because this does take a little bit of power like it doesn't really matter but simpler less stuff to go wrong and it also helps keep the engine temp down when you don't have AC because having the AC on uh, puts a lot of stress on the motor and it creates a lot of heat so in the high temp super hot days you kind of have to turn the ac off anyway because you will just overheat it even with the big radiator i have in it so okay so i just got that pulley installed super simple and now you can just see there's just more room here less stuff going on so and where the radiator is going to be at an angle right here that'll be kind of nice as well because it is lower profile give it a little bit more space there for the radiator to be I guess the next thing I got to do is in the last video you saw me make this kind of quickly this bar that goes down there ties that in I still have to make one of those for the other side uh, 
just to make it symmetrical. So we did put this here kind of as a secondary mount for the battery, but I do want to be symmetrical on both sides and it does add strength. So I'm going to get one of those cut out and notched. I'm just going to do that kind of off camera because I already did that one. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get it fitted into place. Okay, so here it is. All notched up, both sides. Fits right there. Pretty dang good. So, I'm just gonna get that welded in. And then I think I'm gonna move on to getting some fenders mounted. I think I'm gonna try to reuse the fenders I already had and just kinda straighten them out a little bit and get them to work. Um, I do have another set of fenders if I need to make new ones, but I think I wanna try to make those ones work first because they're already cut to how they need to be and everything and they're already bent and yeah but obviously it was rolled so they're not perfect anymore so I'm gonna see if I can get them to look good and if not then I'll build some new ones but get this one. Alright, so this fender is the better of the two. You can see it was kind of hit a little bit in the roll, but it's not too bad. So, I think this one's going to be fine. Go right there. So, I'm get this bolted up and then see if I can match that one to this one. That one. That one took a lot of the brunt of the hit of the whole roll, so. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that one, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so I got these fenders on, as you saw, and I don't love 
how they just end right here. I want to finish them off, I think. But I don't want to make whole new fenders because they take a lot of modification. Like I had to cut it, weld it, do body work and everything, and these ones are already done. So I'm just going to go cut the front off of those other fenders and kind of merge it in here and make a custom piece. I'm going to take the saw. Cut. Okay, so here's my other set of fenders. I could, you know, take these ones off and build whole new fenders. But I would have to cut this front off and modify it anyway, so I'll just cut the front off of this and make it work on those fenders. I, so. I'm just going to cut like that piece off and make it fit. because you're making them mad. All right, so we've got this side all modified to fit. It's gonna go something like that. And then you can see why I was saying they would have to be modified anyway because this comes straight and then this kind of angles in a little bit with this bar so even if i made new fenders i'd have to cut the front off and modify them like this anyway so i think that just looks a little bit more finished so i think it looks good but so now i'm gonna get this side made out uh now that i know what i'm doing this side's gonna be a little bit more challenging because the fender's not as nice as this one but this side's not as perfect but it does fit pretty good right there and hoods just I'll have to straighten that out later and then I can cut it like I did on that side but let me get these welded on here Well, they're set way too hot for what I'm welding right now.
All right, so I just got that all welded up. So now I just need to go over it with a grinder and kind of smoothen it out uh, before I paint it. But so I think it turned out pretty good. I think it looks a lot better. It kind of finishes it off instead of just ending right there. So it's probably gonna get smacked on a rock pretty soon, but that's all right. I think the next thing I need to do, which is actually a lot more important than cosmetic stuff, is this upper link, I need to pull that link out and lengthen it six inches, just because um, the lower links I lengthened by two inches and they still fine, they have plenty of thread engagement, but the upper link I lengthened three inches just to bring the pinion angle up a little bit more. So that one does need to be lengthened because it's only got like half an inch to an inch of thread engagement. So I'm gonna lengthen that upper link by three inches. So just gotta figure out how to get this thing on some jack stands so I can pull that upper link out and lengthen it. So here it is, here's the upper link, I just got it pulled out. And where it was sitting, it had about two inches of thread engagement, which probably would have been fine. Um, kind of the rule of thumb is you want as much thread engagement as how big your tube is. So you know, two inches in a two inch tube, Theoretically, it would be okay, but I want it to be as strong as possible. So I'm gonna just make it so there's about an inch or so of threads showing here. So I'm gonna lengthen this by three inches and that'll get me where I wanna be. Mm. So I just got it in there. Um, as you can see right there is where I lengthened it. And I put a little bit of a bend in it right here uh, just so there's some more clearance. It's all sleeved inside and welded. So should be plenty strong. This actually should be stronger than over here just cause it's got the sleeve and everything in there. So super strong, not worried about that. And it gets a little bit more clearance and now it is long enough as you can see, there's only like an inch of thread showing. Same with these lower ones. So, super happy with how it turned out. 
So unfortunately, that's going to have to be the end of this video. Um, I wanted to get some more done, but I ran out of welding wire and I won't be able to get some until later. And this video has got to go up. Um, so I got some stuff done, but I am waiting on a bunch of parts. So when those start getting here, um, I'm going to get a lot of progress done on this thing. So I got everything I need to finish it coming in the mail. So we should, I should be able to drive this thing super soon. Um, as soon as this thing's running and driving again and everything's done, we're going back out. Uh, I think we're gonna go back out to Little Moab. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely taking this thing out for a spin. So we might go up hanging tree again, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be a little bit before I can put a cage into it. I just I just don't have the money for it right now. Um, that's the main thing holding me back right now is just money. All of this stuff, super expensive, costs a lot to do this. So I'm trying to get as much as I can done on this thing with what I have and it's getting there. So I get the radiator in and Well, once I get the radiator in and the rear shocks in, I think we can go on a test drive in it. Just make sure everything's gonna work and then button everything up and get a new windshield in it. I do have a lot of plans for it still after this. Um, I do wanna do new rock sliders and boat side it and stuff, so. Still a lot of work to be done, but I'm just trying to get this thing going again because I really want to go out wheeling again. It's It's been way too long. This thing's been in this garage for a lot longer than I wanted it to, so. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. Um, stay tuned for the next one.